everyone welcome you back in my geography class i hope all of you are doing well so what we are going to start today today we will continue with the chapter of class 4 the chapter 5 the great indian desert in this video we will know about the climate and vegetation of the great indian desert in the last video we have discussed about the location and extent of the great indian desert so now let us know about the climate and vegetation of the great indian desert now the climate of great indian desert is extreme so we can say the climate of the deserts are extreme now we all know that the deserts are covered with thick sheets of loose sand now the sand have one tendency what tendency the sand have sand absorbs the heat fast and even it releases the heat fast so what happens the sand absorbs the heat fast and even the sand releases the heat fast so as such during the day we will see during the days in the deserts the sand gets heated up fast right that means during the days in the desert the sand gets heated up fast now suppose this are the sand so what will happen when during the days due to the sun rays the sand gets heated up fast the surrounding atmosphere will also become hot right so we can say that the surrounding atmosphere will also become hot making the days hot so that means the days will be hot now what will happen at night now at night what happens the sun sets so as the sun sets the sand rapidly loses its heat so now the surrounding atmosphere will be cool will be cooler as a result this will make the nights cool so we can say that during the summer how is the climate of the desert during the summer the days are hot and dry because it is hot so obviously it will be dry also and the nights are cool do you know that in deserts during the day time the temperature can reach up to 15 degree celsius and in night it can be 15 degree celsius so you can see that during the day how much hot it is and during the night how much cool it is so during the summers the days are hot and dry and nights are cool now what happens in winters in winters the days are warm and pleasant but the nights are colder and it can be below minus 4 degree celsius even so we can say that in winters the days are warm and pleasant where 
as the nights are colder it can be below minus 4 degrees celsius so what we have learned that in the desert during the summers the days are hot and dry and the nights are cool and in winters the days are warm and pleasant but the nights are colder so now let us know about the vegetation of the desert let us know about the vegetation what do you mean by vegetation it means land life of a place that means of any place different kinds of plant that are found there is referred as the vegetation now in the deserts which type of soil are there in the deserts we will see the type of soil that is there is the sandy soil now what happens as the region that means the desert have sandy soil now the sandy soil cannot hold much water so we can say that as the region has sandy soil which cannot hold much water so not too many plants grows here so due to the sandy soil which cannot hold much water if there will be no water how plants can grow so here we cannot see too many plants that grows here in the desert also the desert receives less than 50 cm of rainfall that means we can say that it receives very less rainfall which results in scarce vegetation that means very few vegetation grows in the desert all that we can find in the deserts are some shrubs and thorny bushes like cactus we can also see kicker that grows here and etc so as because the region has sandy soil which cannot hold much water and so we can cannot find too many plants that grows here also it receives less than 50 centimeter rainfall that is very little rainfall so here we will see very few vegetation some shrubs and thorny bushes are found here like cactus kicker etc now do you know an interesting fact that the plants that grows here can withstand the heat and the sandy soil that means the plants that grows here should be well adjusted with the heat and also the soil and also less rainfall so the plants have long roots so the roots of the plants are long so they have long deep roots so that the roots can go deep to the ground and can get water and also the leaves of the plants are very small and they have thorns why so that the leaves can hold water if the leaves would have been broader then it couldn't hold water and we know that in deserts it rains very less that is why the plants that grows in the desert they have long deep roots and have small thorny leaves which can hold water right now we will also see that even there is a shortage of drinking water for the people who are living here in the desert so they have to travel for long distances to get the drinking water because there is also shortage of drinking water as it rains very less there so drinking water is not available do you know that there is only one river that we can find out in the great indian desert and that is the Luni river this is the only one river and also there are few smaller streams which 
gets filled up. How? When it rains. So, which is the only river that we can find in the Thar Desert? That is the Luni River. And there are a few smaller streams which get filled when, when it rains. Otherwise, there is a shortage of drinking water. And the omen, they have to carry the matkas on their head. And they have to walk for longer distances so that they can fetch drinking water. So, what we have learned today? Today, we have learned about the climate of the deserts. That is, the climate of the deserts are very extreme. What happens during the daytime in summers? In summers, during the day, it is hot and dry and it is cool at night. And in winters, the days are warm and pleasant and at night, it is colder. Also, we came to know about the vegetation. That means the plant life of any place. And here we can see that as because the soil is sandy, and also it receives very less rainfall. That is why very few plants grow and the plants that grow, they are well adjusted with the heat and also with the sandy soil. And the plants have long roots and they have small leaves with thorns so that it can hold water. I think all of you have seen cactus, isn't it? So you have seen that how small the leaves of the cactus are and they are thorny. So that why they are thorny and why the leaves are so small. So that it can hold water. I hope all of you understood it very well. So now what you will do? You will read your books. You will read in between the lines. And also you will follow the PDF that has been provided in the description box. Which will help in your better understanding of the chapter. If you have any problem or any suggestion. You can comment in the comment box given below. If you like my video. And if you feel it is worth watching. Do share it with your friends. And don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new to my channel. Do subscribe my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. To get the further notification of my upcoming videos stay tuned i will be back soon with a new video on this chapter till then take care stay safe and keep smiling thank you mm -hmm.